Hello my gods and ghouls, my name is Steven. Okay, so there has been so much stuff going on in the background over the past few months that I haven't been able to talk about until now. And I bring it to you in two parts. Part one, a while back one of my patrons reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in an angel investment or funding to help get the company off the ground. His name is Joel Spolsky. He's the co-founder of Fog Creek Software, Stack Overflow, and Trello. After lots of discussion, he wrote a check to the company for $100,000. He did this through what's called a safe note. I'll add a link in the description describing exactly what this is, but pretty much it means that if the company ever raises a full venture capitalist backed round, then he gets some of the company's shares, some of the stock. He really wants to help the company and the project succeed, and his thinking is super in line with mine about where we want both of them to go. This doesn't mean that he has control over the company, but he does give some really good advice. <laughs> now, I know $100,000 sounds like a lot of money, because it is, <laughs> it's a lot of money. One of the things I had to change in my brain when this check first came through was that $100,000 to an individual is a very different thing than $100,000 to a company. A company operates at a different order of magnitude of expenses. So it's still a lot of money, but it means a different thing when it goes to a company. A lawyer that I had to hire just to facilitate this whole thing was like $2,000 right out of the gate. Buying material stock, hiring an accountant, getting insurance, all kinds of stuff. Like right now, Lucian and I aren't paying ourselves because it just drains too much money out of the company. But it has been so unbelievably helpful and wonderful for being able to start this thing in the way that I didn't think I was going to be able to. I've always expected that I would start this company through bootstrapping, just using my own money and throwing thousands of dollars into it until it started to get traction and then eventually it would feed itself. And we could have done that. We could have not taken the money and just gone through and grown a lot slower, but we could have done it. We could have done it. I'm confident that we could have. But what it has let us be able to do is to start going through the process of checking vendors and accumulating some stock and a whole bunch of other little things that really have made this whole process a lot easier of getting ready to ship a kit. I don't want to make you wait any longer. I don't want to wait. I want to get it out there. I want to make this thing happen. And that's what we viewed this as, was being able to step on the gas and make it happen faster than we could if we were just bootstrapping. It was also really important to me that I was still in control of the company. I do not want anything to jeopardize the fact that this project is open source. I have an incredibly clear picture about exactly where this company is going to go in five years and 10 years, and I don't want anything to disrupt that. I was really hesitant at first because I was worried that taking this check might mean losing control of things, but that's not at all what it means. That's not at all what it does. I really don't want y'all to be worried about the fact that this project is open source. That is a non-negotiable for me. Our goals are still exactly the same. We just have much more of an ability to accomplish them now. <laughs> If you have questions, please drop them in the comments. I want to be able to answer questions that you have about this, so if you drop your questions in the comments, I'll do what I can to respond. Okay, so that's crazy. That's absolutely insane. But then it gets bigger and more. Part two, we got an office. <laughs> Here in Pittsburgh, the shop has gotten completely unbearable. We can't get it much warmer than about 45 degrees Fahrenheit in there, and it has gotten impossibly difficult to continue to produce motherboards. Lucian and I have been keeping an eye out for commercial space for a while, and we happen to find an incredible space at a really, really good price. We toured a couple times, we did a ton of math, we weighed all the pros and cons, then we had an incredibly long and intense conversation at a local Denny's, <laughs> and we decided to go for it. So where are we going? We are going to our new office that we're about to sign the lease for. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is crazy. <laughs> we're taking on new responsibility now. <laughs> yes. And uh, with it will be rewards and uh, heightened levels of risk and reward, basically. <laughs> like, <laughs> yep, that's pretty much it. Yeah. We have so many things pointing towards this is such an excellent decision to get us out of a 45 degree garage and into a place where we can actually work and set up reliable, comp repeatable processes at a, at a reasonable scale. We keep running like propane heaters to keep it warm because it's so cold out there. We have set off the carbon monoxide alarm <laughs> just from running propane in an enclosed space. And I realized maybe that's why I had such a headache over that, that week or so that we were working in there. Yeah, probably that was it. You let me in, guy? <laughs> We're pulling up to the office. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is fing crazy. Alright. Oh my god. 
<laughs> this is the spookiest thing. It's so much space. But we need it, we need all of this space. Signing the lease was one of the most intense things that I think I've ever done. It was a huge decision, but an incredibly good one. We signed on a Friday about two weeks ago, and we moved in over the weekend, and we were working here the Monday after. <laughs> and we even had furniture to move in too. About a month ago, Lucian and I went to a career institute that was closing down, and they were just getting rid of as much furniture as they could. So we took my girlfriend's van and we loaded it up and got a whole bunch of tables and chairs and all kinds of stuff for like a couple hundred bucks. All right, so this is four old Ikea tables I just took apart. And Lucian's working on some electronics benches. Hey. <laughs> and there's also a whole bunch of computers we got too. I'm gonna go see if those boot and we'll go from there. The office is about 3,200 square feet. Right now, it feels insanely big, but if we had gotten an office space that feels the right size for us right now, we'd be grown out of it in a heartbeat. We can afford this space, and it has enabled us to do so much more in so much less time. <laughs> and we've only been here like a week and a half, so we're actually in the office right now. Here, let me take you off the tripod and you can actually see what's going on. All right, so this room is the photo studio and meeting room. You can see my little shooting setup. I put as much foam on this ladder as I could to make it not echo like crazy in here. I have my green screen set up on this brick wall. And that's pretty much it for this one. We decided to name every room in the building after a different open source project. So this one is called Tor. And then if we leave Tor, we go into the main area of the office. And this is the main part of the office. This is the front door. There's like a little entryway here. The kitchen is behind this green half wall. And then there's a couple bathrooms. And then this is Mendel. This is where we've got our Prusa Mini. And we have a couple other printers that we're gonna be bringing here pretty soon. This is one of Lucian's FDM, but we have the Enders that we're gonna be bringing soon. We got this couch really cheap on Craigslist. And this is my old living room table. This area will probably become storage for components like finished machines and also stock. This is one of the two freight elevators that come to this space. It's huge and awesome, and we use it a bunch to move in furniture. This is an electronics bench, which we're using for rework and prototyping and all kinds of other stuff. A lot of my soylent boxes with prototyping stuff are right there next to it. And we've got the little desk cluster over here. <laughs> this room is called Thunderbird after the email client, and right now it's just pretty much storage for components. So this is wire harnesses, stepper motor drivers, aluminum extrusion, staging plates, all kinds of stuff for shipping out the first batch of kits. This is one of the tables we got at the uh, Career Institute that was closing down. We got this for free actually, and it's gonna be really good for packing orders and printing labels and getting orders out the door. This room is called Ghidra, and this is ultimately where we're going to be uh, packing the kits. This whole room is gonna be set for just having inventory set up and ready to go right into the Kit right here. This is an early prototype of the packaging. And then this room is Ross. This is our SMT line. And on this side, we have one of the U-line benches with the reflow oven, the test jig, this is going to be where we're checking and making sure that everything's working well. <sighs> all right, so that's the space. The only downside of all this is all the moving and sorting all this stuff out set us back a bit in shipping kits, but we have already resumed production since we moved in here. We are shooting to have kits available by the end of quarter one in 2022. We have just a few more loose ends to tie up before we're ready to ship, but we are almost there. It's mostly a lot of documentation stuff and packaging and a whole bunch of little assorted things. This past month has been one of the absolute most stressful of my life, but it has also been so much fun. A huge thank you to everyone that commented on the last video with name ideas. They are so good. Some of them were so funny. Some of them were so excellent. We have taken that list and sent it off to our lawyer. She is reviewing them now and going through a trademark search of the ones that we like. And hopefully I'll have some news for y'all soon about which one we're gonna go with. All right, 
that's it for this one. <laughs> you won't see me for the next upload. I'm taking it off for the holidays. And the one after that will be my yearly channel trailer. Don't forget to leave your comments with questions about all this stuff. I know this is a ton of news to drop and I wanna be able to answer questions that you have about this. So please leave any questions that you have in the comments and I'll try to get to them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. All right, and that's the space. Hope you liked it.